A superconductor is a material that conducts electricity with almost 100% efficiency. This means that any form of energy loss is prevented. Superconductivity can be achieved only under extremely low temperatures or high pressure conditions. The temperature at which the resistance drops to zero is known as the critical temperature. But what if there was a superconductor that did this at room temperature? Till now, the search for such a material had proved elusive. This is the reason the claims by the South Korean scientists regarding LK99 have made the scientific world sit up. Superconductor technology like LK99 could lead to a new age of frictionless high-speed trains, lossless power lines, and super-efficient quantum computers. Particle accelerators and nuclear fusion devices could also be run in a cost-efficient manner. Superconducting materials are already in use in a variety of applications around the world, such as MRI machines but they require extremely low temperatures or extremely high pressures. Such conditions are difficult and expensive to maintain. Since the electric current flowing through metal wires suffers losses due to the wire's electrical resistance, a significant amount of electricity is lost in transmission. The challenge before scientists have been to discover a material that can conduct electricity without resistance at an ordinary temperature and pressure. Such superconducting materials were first discovered in 1911. Dutch physicist Heike Kamerling Onis found that mercury, a liquid metal at room temperature, becomes a superconductor at an extremely cold temperature of minus 268.95 degrees Celsius. Researchers also realized that along with being perfect conductors of electricity, superconductors also have many other properties that could lead to monumental breakthroughs in the fields of energy, transportation and computers. Scientists have expressed doubts about the claims of the South Korean researchers though. The research paper is waiting to be peer-reviewed for publication. Scientists also say that their findings have not been put through basic tests used to confirm superconductivity. Similar claims of room temperature superconductivity have been met with skepticism as none of them has been able to withstand rigorous scientific scrutiny. In July, Physical Review Letters, a prominent scientific journal, decided to retract a paper by Ranga Diaz, a physicist at the University of Rochester, because of faulty data. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard